everybody. Just a quick note at the beginning of tonight's video that there's probably not going to be a Saturday video this week. I just, uh, we're going camping, we're leaving early Saturday, and I just don't think I'll have the time to put something together before then. So this will be the last you see of me until the following week. I'll try and get some little videos out um, on these various pieces of equipment back here. And I mean, I got lots and lots to share with you guys. I just need a little bit of time to put it together. So until then, enjoy this little video here on the seatbelt for the Honda Odyssey. And uh, hopefully I can, maybe, maybe I can put together some shorts or something, but we'll, uh, we'll have to see. That'll be a play it by ear kind of thing. So, all right, enjoy the show. Thanks for watching. So there's one last thing to take care of on this Honda Odyssey, and that is the uh, seat belt. Basically, she has had to drive around for a little while, plugging this into the passenger side, because on the driver's side, it won't stay put. So I've picked up some uh, security Torx bits, and I will get in there and see if we can figure out what's going on. So this uh, cover is held on with some T10 security bits. So Amazon sent me this overnight. It's a Lexavon brand. It's just got a variety of Torx bit sizes from uh, T4 to T40. And everything from T5 up is security bit. So T4 presumably because it's far too small to make a security bit with even the 5. That's pretty crazy. So I believe this is a T10. Bingo. I pretty much had every size already except for the 10, but it was uh, cheaper just to get the whole set. So now I'm covered. Not sure what we'll find in here, if anything. Might just need lubrication. It might be broken and need full-on replacement. I don't know. I think I tried to lubricate it once and it did nothing, so not much access there. There we go. Of course. <laughs> I see it. I need a magnet. Sacrifices I go through to make these videos for you guys, I tell you. Okay. There we go. I joke, I joke. I would have dropped that whether I was recording or not. There's one teeny tiny screw. And the other. Okay. Oh wow, a big wad of dust or something just fell out of there plastic or something yeah that is quite possibly our issue there's like a thread in there wouldn't that be something if that's all it was that would be amazing oh no such luck Well, that'll help us figure it out. Time to put on the bifocals. I just don't know. Is that broken? I think I'm going to take apart the other side here that works and just see if I can figure out what's missing. Well, unfortunately, it kind of looks like it's just worn. Um, that's got a lot of miles on it. It's had a lot of use over the years. I have it working now. A um, little bit of deep creep. It's good stuff. Uh, seems to have helped. It's not broken or anything like that. So um, I'm just put it together for now and uh, maybe price out one from... I looked on Amazon and stuff and they were all kind of... It's hard to find and eBay. It's hard to find like definitively the right one. So I'll just get the VIN 
I think I've got it actually and talk to Honda and see how much one would cost. Looks like it's one bolt to change it out and this console pops out just as easy as can be. It's designed to be removed so that'll be easy to change when the time comes but for now we can put it back together and at least it can be operated safely.